Hello everyone, this is Poor Cynic with Tablet and Time Reviews, and I really hope this actually captures this time. This is like my third attempt. This frickin' program keeps crashing, uh, so I probably shouldn't fritter on about it because it might crash again. So, uh, we're gonna play Let's Bowl 2, Bowling with Friends. I don't have any friends, but that's not gonna stop me. This, as you can no doubt tell, is the main menu screen. Uh, pretty basic. Play, play with friends, stats, remove ads. Remove ads, you have to pay actual money for that. Uh, just, yeah, that costs a buck. I guess it, the ads really aren't that intrusive, so I, it's not really that necessary. Um, you click on the little gear button, the promo code, you can authorize a new device, you also control your sound. Um, the little people button, that's just basic social stuff, the game center. Um, as I mentioned, the Game Center doesn't really work. I, I mentioned this in the review. Um, I haven't been able to register any results or um, you know, status up on it, uh, even though I bowled for however many games I have. Little I button, that's just um, you know, information about the app itself. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go up, let's look at stats. This shows, this is nice, it shows the stats of every player who's um, who's been on, on the device. So if you're like me and you've been sharing it, you can look at yours. There's mine. I am doing okay, I'd like to think. And there's the, the guest. For some reason, it did not save the guest's last game. You know, I really want to like this mul the Hot Seat multiplayer, but there really are a lot of bugs with it. Um, it's fun, but man, does it screw up quite a bit. Anyway, enough about that. Play with friends, that's for online play. You have to log into Game Center. Um, we're going to focus on play. Uh, single play, that's, you know, if you just want one normal game, just yourself. And then there's pass and play if you want to have uh, your fr you and your tabletless friends. Um, we're just going to do single game. I'll probably play a couple games, uh, showing off two of the different alleys. Um, you you can go through these games pretty quick. I mean, there's not a lot of the regular bowling wait time. Uh, the ball, you don't need to wait for the ball to come back, or you don't need to go pick up your nachos and beer. Uh, we're going to go with Classic Alley, and we're going to stick with the ball I have right here. This is the Lone Star Ball. 15% uh, uh, bonus to strike, 5% bonus to spare, no bonus for the turkey, and 16 pounds. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, strike is when you knock down all the balls in one, the first throw of a frame. Spare is when you knock down all the balls with two throws in one frame, and turkey is if you get three strikes in a row. I kind of hope you know this, because I figure if you're watching this, you know at least a little something about bowling, but I could be wrong. Maybe you don't. Um, anyway, here's the alley. Uh, as I said in the review, controls are pretty basic. You maneuver where you want the ball to be by sliding your finger and or stylus back and forth. Uh, to throw the ball, you swipe your finger and stylus down, screen, down the screen towards the pins. Uh, the strength of your swipe determines how hard to throw the ball. And then you swipe sideways while it's moving to uh, adjust the spin. That was a terrible throw, as you can see. I got a split, and I did not pick up the spare. So it's not a good start for me. Let's keep going. Ah, ah damn it. All right, and gotcha. Ah, got it that time. As you can see, I'm racking up the, the little, the numbers next to the dollars. Those are the amount of in-game currency you've won so far in this game. Um, throw over the ball. Yeah, there we go. Picking up the strike. That's nice, that's nice. Um, I really wish I could Kind of think up some good big Lebowski jokes here, but I can't think of any that wouldn't sound for us. So I'm not going to put you through that. I'm not going to make you suffer through that. Um, it's a good movie, though. Uh, if you haven't watched it, you really should. And if you have, you're awesome. God, I am, I am throwing 
throwing terribly here. Oh, oh man, I, I almost blew it on that one. Um, yeah. yeah, there really isn't a lot of noise. There's no ambient music in this game. Um, and yeah, you get sounds for when you throw the ball when pins are knocked down and reacting to how well you did. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I, you can... I'd put on some music or something while you play this, or... Oh, hey, picked up the turkey. That's sweet. Yeah. Um, see if I can get the hand bone. Hand bone's when you get four strikes in a row. Ah, oh, too much spin. So I did not get it. Um, oh! Oh, narrowly avoided the gutter. All right, 150, 150 points. Um, it's already better than any time I've ever bowled in real life. I just I'm cruising through this one because I'm afraid of another crash, uh, and two because you know this is basically as much as there's going to be. There's not a huge variety. Oh, that was terrible. 166, that's not bad. Um, we'll head back to the pro shop. Uh, I don't... Oh, I'm just short a little bit for getting the new lane. Uh, but I'll show you the clown around lane, and then we'll probably call it a game. Uh, do I want to get another ball? All the balls have different bonuses um, and different designs, so... Uh, it's boring, but it's got good stats, so I'll pick it up. Okay, and we'll go bowl on this very ugly lane. Ugly, kind of creepy. Whoa! Da, da, da. Ah, there, that's nice. Do, do. Um, I, I wish I could come up with more something interesting to talk about here uh, but you know it is bowling and you've pretty much seen all you're going to see um, but it's fun uh, when, but discounting all the bugs I mentioned in the review uh, and while doing this Ah, uh, yeah, I got the hand bone. That's sweet. Um, and th there's not a great amount of skill, but it is a nice game to play with other people. And, you know, sometimes you need that. That's, it's pretty good. It's sort of what the, the games for the, uh, the tablet and smartphone are designed to be. Just nice, um... Quick little things to to eat up some time, um, and as you can see, I you can finish a game pretty fast. Um, as I've mentioned before, I gotta stop repeating myself. I'm doing a heck of a lot better. Quite pleased, though that was terrible though. I only knocked over one more, but God. Ah, oh, hey, I broke 200. I think the best I've gotten uh, is like two, close to 250. So that's nothing to sneeze at. All right, hey, maybe I can uh, cap this off with another turkey. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, or not. I could screw it up at the last moment. Oh, well. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything that's going to be about Let's Bowl 2. Uh, to sum up, it is a pretty fun game. It's easy. If you like bowling, it's definitely got that. It lets you play with friends, both online and off. There are bugs uh, and glitches, but unless you're really into uh, tracking uh, achievements and that sort of thing, uh, it's not going to be a problem, because as I mentioned in the review, the major glitch is, it, it for me, it did not track any achievements. It did not even register that I played the game in Game Center. Um, but otherwise, 
yeah, uh, if this looks interesting to you, if you like bowling, if you, you know, just want to spend a couple minutes throwing balls at pins, uh, then I thoroughly recommend Let's Bowl 2. Pick it up uh, whenever you can. So yeah, I've been Poor Cynic with Tab on Tire and Reviews. I'm very thankful that this does not crash again. And uh, uh, I will see you all again soon. Ta-ta and farewell. Stay tuned for future reviews at tablettyrant.blogspot.com. That's tablettyrant.blogspot.com. Or subscribe to this YouTube channel.